one of the things that agents don't do particularly well uh, is they're not very good at returning calls. So this is not a criticism of agency of, of agents. This is just the, the fact that agents are very, very, very busy people. But if, but if, if I make contact with an agent and the agent doesn't call me back or respond to my text or email in 5, 10, 15 minutes, then that actually gives me a bad feeling about that agent, right? Now, whether or not we agree or we, we disagree with that, whether or not that's fair or not, that's just the world that we live in. Now, the best agents that I'm speaking to are starting to use technology and robotic technology to deal with inquiries. So, for example, uh, thanks for emailing me about 3 Smith Street, Sam. Uh, unfortunately, I can't attend your call at the moment, but here is the floor plan. Here is the link to the property on realestate.com.au. The person's not speaking to the agent, but the agent is using robotic technology to obviously ensure there's something because something is better than a wait. More and more people that stay in hotels are getting frustrated at, at the whole process of checking out of a hotel yeah? yeah so i think we all understand that when you when you check out at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, spending four or five minutes is a pain all you want to do is get out of the hotel and get in the taxi or whatever and the reason why um, hotels are getting it in the neck at the moment is because consumers are comparing the experience of getting out of an uber so when you think about an uber you get to your destination you don't have to do anything you literally say thanks mate i'm out of here yeah and so what uber has done is uber has raised the expectation of consumers around that payment process the reason why that's important is if i if i'm thinking about selling my house through ash who was obviously uh, on the webinar just prior to me if i'm on the way to see ash i jump out of an uber and uh, the process is seamless i then walk into ash's office my expectation is that the payment process, the paperwork side of things that Ash and his team serve up to me is as good as Uber. Because I'm gonna compare experiences because that's the way the world works today. And, and if Ash does not give me uh, an experience that is as good as Uber, then he's not gonna get five stars. If he's lucky, he'll get four. He's probably likely to get three.